how to connect Monday to Power BI. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to connect your Power BI uh, resource for information and also data collection and your monday.com workspace. So it is going to be a very simple step. We are going to use a specific extension that is integrated on monday.com. Then we are going to have an API key. So we are going to have our source added to Power BI. So now what is the purpose for having that specific connection? Basically for those who does know or doesn't know about Power BI, it is going to be the giant. I mean by that the giant of data sourcing, also data management. So if you have some big data, uh, little data or any type of data that you are going to source out or compare or have some tools to uh, check out these data, you're going to need uh, the help of Power BI. It is going to be a, um, a Microsoft app that will help you to uh, manage the big data. In here, we're going to head over monday.com and then we're going to have our first item added. And this item is needed, which is going to be a dashboard. So we are going to head over the workspaces, select our workspace, and then we're going to click on the uh, plus button, which is going to be adding an item to the workspace. So from these items, we're going only to choose dashboard. So we are going to make the privacy of it as main, and then we are going to create that dashboard. So we are going to connect it to a board that is going to uh, be already set up. So I'm going to choose this one, which is going to be uh, the main workspace in here. So I'm going to uh, uh, here set up this, and then we are going to add uh, some widgets. So we are going to add different type of widgets in here. I'm going to add the numbers, the battery, uh, Gantt, and also the file galleries. So make sure that you have set up the uh, dashboard or that specific widget or view for the, uh, as you can see here, the project of yours. So I have already uh, set up the dashboard beforehand. So it is uh, going to be uh, something that you're going to have set up already. So if you do not have a source, you can go ahead and set up the first board or the first, let's say, your project in your mind in here. Now, after we have set that, we're going to head over our project. And then from this project, we're going to add an app. So we're going to head over the views. As you can see here, we have the main table, Gantt view, Kanban view, and etc. We're going to click on add view, and then we're going to add an app. So we are going to click on explore more and then we are going to type in power bi so b i just like that normally we are going to see the power bi and as you can see we have different options so we can go ahead and set up the uh, specific uh, let's say here um, uh, integration so we have as you can see power bi embedded here, uh, Power BI embedded also, and etc. This one and that one. So we can choose whatever you want from here, and then you're going basically to install it. So I'm going to get this, click on get now, for example, and then we are going to install the app. So it is going to be dependent on you and also the uh, judging for your case uh, for that specific, let's say, uh, app or integration. So you can go ahead and have here. As you can see, the Microsoft Power BI uses and etc. from this video. So we can go ahead and set up the Power BI. So we are going to select the report you wish to use in the file menu, select embed, copy, and etc. So you can go ahead and set up the URL and then you're going to paste it on the embed URL field on the widget settings. So basically you're going to have here the widget settings and then you're going to install it just like that. So basically this is going to integrate the data from Power BI into our uh, monday.com. That was the first method. So you're going basically here to head over Power BI. Then you're going to select the file. Of course, after you have set up the file, you're going to click on file and then you're going to see an embed button showing up in here. 
So uh, basically here I'm going to ignore that specific um, let's say uh, here embedded. I'm going to head over the apps and we're going to see other options. So we are going to type in Power BI and you are going to see uh, other options. As you can see here, we have this one and that one and others. So I can go ahead and install as many apps as I need because they are going to uh, be on uh, the specific views. So they are not basically going to have here a, um, let's say a specific uh, view for that. So now, as you can see here, this is uh, going to be Power BI connector by Tempo. We're going to choose a workspace. We have here the main or the new one. And also you can go ahead and choose a dashboard. This is why I have created the dashboard. So you can go ahead and click on add app. And then you're going to wait for the app to be added. Now we are going to wait for the app and we're going to see the next steps that we are going to need. So each one of the app are going to have their specific, uh, let's say integration process. So now, as you can see, this one is going to be uh, authorizing the connection directly. So we are going to click on authorize and normally it is going to detect your uh, account. So if you have an account, then you're going to have it right away. So you can go ahead and create your first data source and then you can go ahead and set it up. So as you can see, we have the name of the data source. Here we have the data sources, the tokens and etc. So this is the token that we are going to have for exporting from, um, as you can see, Power BI. You can go ahead and have here the source and then you are going to create uh, your source. For example, source of items, users or whatever. And then you're going to have them right there. So here I'm going to uh, guide you for something. As you can see for the tokens, you're going to have a, here this token. And what are you going to do is to copy that token. So if, for example, if you're going to have here the data for sources, as you can see, you can go ahead and create your first data source by setting up the uh, things in here, uh, as you can see it like that. And then you're going basically what to do is to head over Power BI. Then you're going to head over the home. So we are going maybe to have another report. So I can go ahead in here and maybe have another report set up. So we are going to bring in something new. So here I'm going to have this maybe a blank one. So we are going to wait for it. And the source is going to be a web, let's say address. So we are going to have another source. Make sure that you're going to have here, for example, let's say here, uh, fabric other. So we are going to head over the other, click on web, click on connect, and then you're going to set up the URL. So basically the URL is going to be uh, your specific, as you can see, uh, dashboard or the board itself. So you need the dashboard. We're going to put the dashboard, click on OK, and then we're going to have the connection. So we are going to have the windows, as you can see, uh, the credentials and the API. So here we're going to see that we have a key and that key is going to be on the specific, um, let's say, API that we've had in here. So we are going to head over tokens and copy and paste the token like that and then you're going to connect it so uh, here you are going to see the specific api key it can be only a specified web api so maybe it is not going to be the right key but you can go ahead and head over here and we're going to head over the settings so maybe we're going to head over the administrations and we're going to head over the connections API, you're going to regenerate or have the token, and we can go ahead and put it just like that, and then you're going to connect it. So it is not going to read it right there because I do not have current files in here, and here we have it. So now I'm going to cancel the saving, I'm going to uh, delete that. So basically, that was pretty much it for this specific area. So 
the more apps that you are going to use the um let's say the more ones that you're going to like or dislike if you do not like an app you can go ahead and ignore it or um uh, simply delete the view of it and then you have it so basically that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one